I've always liked having a Joshua. I've never said anything wrong about him. I've always liked having a Joshua. I've never said anything wrong about him. He's a great fighter, Olympic gold medalist, you know, and he's done a lot for boxing. Let's not forget that, you know. And he is a good fighter, you know, and he will be a world champion again. But I couldn't get over how really big he was. The man's a unit, you know, but he's always been a nice guy, a respectful man. He showed me respect, he was lovely, and it was heartfelt. You know, and I got nothing but admiration and respect for Anthony Joshua. It was a great moment for me, yeah. We won't talk about him. He's not worth talking about, is he? You know, he's not a boxer. He's what they call a cameraman, isn't he? You know, he don't fight when he's supposed to fight. You know, and at the end of the day, I don't want to talk about it. The country, the world want to see, especially Britain, want to see Anthony Joshua v Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury v Anthony Joshua. But what we got, we got Chisora. Because Derek Chisora's got to stand up for his fellow Brit, but never had the guts or the bottle to box. He only got offered everything across the board, nearly 50-50. He had a super chance what's been left and gone by. He won't get another one. Joshua did an interview recently where he says, come see me, I'm the boss, I call all the shots. What do you think about coming? No, he's not the boss. He's dreaming. Along with his promoters, they're not the boss. No, Tyson's the boss. Tyson Fury, lineal, WBC, heavyweight champion of the world. Don't shit yourself when he goes abroad. Come win abroad. Best man in the world all round to date. You know, get in line, fall in line. Because if he don't pull rank on you, I will. You're number two, mate, not number one. And between number one and number two, there's a gulf at the moment. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, sponsor's dream. If I had him, I wouldn't want to put him in front of a, a wrecking machine like Tyson yet. I want as much money out of AJ as I possibly can make. But they can make more outside the ring with him than what they can inside the ring. So why do they want to risk him? That's why Eddie Earn's dragging his heels, or Barry Earn, whatever, who's never dealing with him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I watched everything. Searched everything. Well, there's your fucking big fella closer than this. Land of the Giants, isn't it? Heavyweight division is changing up. He's probably the finest man in boxing, isn't it? Let's go. Get up there, my boy. So, you're here for training camp already? No, is that what we're Oh, okay. The youngest one in boxing. Okay, cool, sweet. Oh, yeah, I'm glad to meet you, AJ. Wait, he's in there already? He's in there already? Yeah, he's in there just to give you a picture. Better attention to you as well, sir. I'm going to do my. Like, I'll tell you what he keeps doing. He keeps blowing my dad off like, oh, I think John Fury's a legend. He's a top bloke. Whatever you've got going on with him, I don't like. Sever ties with a little pussy. Man's a pussy, shit house. All of a sudden, my dad's new best friend. Oh, I, I want to go out for a drink with John Fury, he said. I was like, what the fuck? Why don't you want to go out for a drink with me? Because I'll punch him in the mouth when I get up, sling. They don't. So, one, I think that is a shit house. And I say it to his face. Two, he has got no courage to fight me. <laughs> and three, he's a failure and a letdown to this country. Is that not a bit Can harsh? I, no. Tice, no. come on. No, I'm not. It's not harsh. It's, it's truth. It's like earlier. <laughs> it's truthful. Until he steps in the ring with the Gypsy King, he can never, ever redeem himself. Ever. And if he never steps Correct. in the ring with the Gypsy King, then mark that. these words. Coward. I'll sanction that. And if you've got anything to say about it, Mush, come and find me. Well, let me. I'm tired of answering these questions about AJ. Tyson could beat him now. Tyson could beat him now. Because there's no competition. It's not about when Tyson if this and if that. That's a foregone conclusion. Tyson can beat AJ in his sleep. The two levels apart, mate. You know, like the aliens are light years in front of us in brain power. That's how my son is in front of Joshua in ability. <laughs> Do you understand me now, what I'm saying? Do I get the picture across? He can't do it. He's got slow feet. He's got a few flash stands. He goes like that. One, two, left up. Chin stuck in the air. You see him, he's blown out of his ass. I mean, he gets a bit of pressure put on him. Tyson will do more than pressurise him, mate. He'll be crying after four rounds. Tears will be rolling out of his eyes like Marafat Peas. But he can't do any good. He'll be swinging like that. Oh, where's he gone? Pop, pop, bang. On the floor. End of. Give me them belts back where you stole them. You bum. And that's it. And you know me, I will bet every pound I've got on my son to wipe the floor with any heavyweight in the world, never mind Joshua. Put that in your paper and smoke it. I'm going to throw to you a question about Anthony Joshua. Assuming that fight gets made and it takes place in, in May of next year, you're a scholar and a gentleman, John. How does that 
Ding, ding. How does that <laughs> fight start? It's the first round. The bell's just gone. John, take me through the first 30 seconds of commentary. First 30 seconds of commentary. Napa boxed right off <laughs> and stung with disastrous right hands and left hooks. Listen, he'll think he's fighting an eel in a, in a cold water. He won't to touch Tyson. Tyson will box his head off and he'll hit him that hard. His heart will go. He'll, listen, he'll be an easier night than Deontay Wilder and I'll take all bets again. First, first round, Tyson will come back jabbing, missing, making him slip and slide. Bang! Josh will fall to pieces after first right hand because he'll know then I can't beat this man. All them fighters know they can't beat Tyson because I'll tell you why. The man's not been born yet and I've watched them all. This crop of heavyweights, this era, can't beat him. They can't. They haven't got it. He's not been born yet. Not just saying it because of my son. He's proved himself. And Tyson's a modest guy. I'm not modest. I'm telling it as I see it. You know, they're all terrified of Tyson. I'll tell you something. They'll be beat before they start because they know they can't beat this man. There he is in the middle there. The Gypsy King, he'll reign forever. He'll reign for the next 10 years. Because I'll tell you what it is now. There's a Superman got to be born what can even come close to him. And I ain't seen him yet. And I've watched them all, these new crops of heavyweights. I ain't seen him. And let get the Joshua on. I'll tell you. Would you like to have gone against the Tyson from the late 80s? Would you like to have tested yourself one night in Las Vegas or one night in New York or one night in Manchester against that late 80s Tyson? Would you have liked that, Tyson? I'm going to tell you something, Steve. Um... There hasn't been a heavyweight from any era in the last thousand years that could have tackled me or beat me. Never mind Mike Tyson from the 80s. Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, Lennox Lewis, George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Ken Norton, Rocky Marciano, Floyd Patterson, Gene Tunney, Jem Mace, John L. Sullivan. Going right back to the beginning. Not one of them could have beat the Gypsy King. One, I'm too big. Two of them too good, and three have got too many styles for them. Um, I'm four and I'm, I'm a, an adapter, and five, they couldn't ever beat me anyway. So there we go. I'm the greatest fighter that's ever lived. Well, never mind heavyweight, the greatest fighter that's ever lived. And how about that for a bit of modesty? The greatest fighter that's ever lived. Well, you know. <laughs> I was to pieces. Whenever he fights Usyk, if ever he does, believe me, it won't even be a contest. No. I know people are getting on Usyk's back saying he's the man, he can do this. Let me tell you, he can't. He can't. No. Little men can't mess a big man. Especially a good big man. And a good big man beats a good little man. And Usyk's a very, very excellent good little man. You can't mess with Tyson. No. Too much artillery, too much skill, too much brains, too much strength, and when he hits you, there's no get off of it. Bentley, where are you?